What happens if you guys are competing against each other in something? We stop doing that because it's just Why? ugly. It's just so ugly. <laughs> what like, will happen? We can't happen? even play back end. We can't even play board games together. I want to take you way back uh, to when you had a rival windsurfer. Yeah. Who walks on a porta potty? Yeah. What do you do? Trap him in with a truck, pound on it, maybe turn the porta potty over or something. Just you know. Grind on him a little bit. What do you mean, or something? You have to remember that. Or right? just knock the porta potty over. I think he got it. Yeah. It was a completely full porta potty. It was a was port it? Yeah, with purple juice. <laughs> what happened? I think he was pretty messy. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little puffy chested, and so we had to bring him down a little bit. You know, dethrone yeah. him, dethrone him. How does or how has anger motivated you? I've used it as a driving force for a long time. You know, especially when I was younger. Now it's changed a little bit, quite a bit, completely actually. How? Don't use it as a as a as a as a tool to to push me. Now I use other things, other other mental states, but not anger. I don't use anger as a as the driving force. When I grew up, when I was younger, I used that as a driving force. Part of it was just self defense. It was, it was more out of just out of defending myself that anger was a good tool to, and I could use it to, to perform as well. But not anymore. No, I haven't, I, no, because it's not productive. It's not sustainable. You can do it when you're young, when you're trying to come up. You can, when you're coming up and you have to kind of knock walls down and run into people to kind of make room for yourself, you can get away with that, but it's not a sustainable attitude. You have to, you know, there's, there's too, many, too much cause and effect. You start to realize that the, the impact, the, the negative impact of using that consistently is not worth the, is not worth the, you know, the emotion. You gotta shift the gear. How true is it that you've broken both of your hands on doors instead of hitting A people? Face. Yeah, it's true. I had, I beat some Olympic I don't know, Olympic something, some guy in an arm wrestling thing, and then he, he had his thugs, and they were gonna, and we were gonna fight, and instead I just punched, I just broke my hands on the door, because I didn't want to fight. At least the door is fine, and I can just, my hands will. Yeah, you but know, you have two busted hands. I know, but they'll get better. More productive than me hitting somebody. You're obviously a hugely successful athlete yourself. Who's more competitive? Oh. There's no comparison. I mean, Laird is, you know, we joke, like he'd, he'd rather risk his life than like lose to, you know, someone. That's how competitive he is. I don't know if I can, I mean, it's as simple as that. What happens if you guys are competing against each other in something? We stop doing that, because it's just Why? ugly. It's just so ugly. <laughs> what like, will we happen? can't even play back end. We can't even play board games together. Laird will like flick the board or, you know, it's over. It's just no fun. If I win, I lose. If I lose, I lose. Like, it's just no fun. <laughs> it's just, it's like, yeah, no. Sure. I swear to God. It's, it, now, early on in our relationship, I mean, I haven't done it in a while. Maybe I should re-see, we should try to play again. But no, I stopped playing games with him because it was just, so, he's just so brutal. Card games, backgammon, forget volleyball. But volleyball, I used to make him drive home in the back of the truck because I, like he would play against us and if he lost. Now, remember, I was a professional. Like right. this is what we did every day, all day long. And I'd say, hey, can, the, guy, the coach would put us against a male team and they would put Laird in the middle. He's a great athlete, could play, block, do everything. If we'd win, which was probably most of the time because we were a team, like that's what we did, um, he would be genuinely pissed off. And I was like, you, I just, and I literally would drive home and he'd be in the back of the car. And I'm like, I cannot even <laughs> talk to you. 